Buenos dias familia, I am Vincent of 271 and in this tech video we are going to take a deeper dive into turbochargers for your 10th generation Honda Civic. And specifically, I am going to go over the W series lineup of turbochargers that we have created and developed. I'm going to show you guys the difference between them, tell you a little bit about the features and aspects of each of them, and in the end we're going to help you decide which is the right one for your Honda. I have in front of me three turbochargers for the 2016 to 2021 Honda Civic 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder. These are all turbos that we have created and designed and developed specifically for the L15 found in your 10th gen. So to the right of me, I have a W1 journal bearing turbocharger upgrade. Center, a W2 journal bearing upgrade. And to the left, a W2 ball bearing upgrade. So let's take a deeper dive into each one of these and see what they're all about. All right, first up is the W1 turbocharger. This is the OG in drop-in performance for the 10th generation Honda Civic. This is a 100% brand new unit. It is not a core, it is not a reman, it is nothing used. It is 100% new castings, wheels, center section, the whole thing. We base this off a TDO4 MHI center section structure. 47 millimeter, six by six, inducer on the compressor blade, 47 millimeter Inconol nine blade exducer. This is a drop in performance, uses a 0.50 AR on the turbine, 0.50 AR on the compressor cover, 100% brand new, comes with everything you need. This is a fantastic turbo for mimicking OEM like response. It is a great turbo for the 310 to 330 wheel horsepower figures. Uh, it's gonna work on both manual and CVT cars both pump gas and ethanol. And all in all, this is a great drop in performance for anyone out there. Up next is the W2 journal bearing turbocharger. Just like the W1, this is again a 100% brand new turbocharger unit. New compressor cover, new turbine housing, new castings, nothing is reused. So what makes this unique is it's a TDO 4.5 structure. So what exactly is TDO 4.5? We use a TDO5 center section, journal bearings, thrust bearing, shaft, rotating assembly with a TDO4 sized wheel. So what this gives us is the strength and reliability of a TDO5 group size with the responsiveness of TDO4 sized wheels. This unit is a journal bearing unit. The key differences here are going to actually come in the housings. So the most interesting aspect is we actually use the same size compressor and turbine wheel that you found in the W1. But when we made those to the larger housings, we're able to make a lot more top end and a lot more power. So this is gonna be a turbo that again, will still work on stock engines, but is also gonna grow with you if you go to a larger upgraded engine in the future. And the last piece of the puzzle is the W2 ball bearing. Now, if you look at the turbocharger from the outside, it looks identical to a W2 ball bearing. And simply put, that's because it is. The difference lies in the inside. We have gotten rid of the journal bearing center section assembly and have upgraded it with a dual ceramic ball bearing. Ball bearings are quicker to spool compared to the journal bearing counterparts because they have less internal friction. As well, they can generally handle more boost and more radical swings and boost and turbocharger movement than a journal bearing. Uh, they work really well in cold climates because they don't require as much oil to go through them. Since not as much oil is required to feed a ball bearing unit, what you end up getting is a more reliable and more durable unit that is less likely to leak or have any issues of that nature. This turbocharger is great for those looking to go well over 400 wool horsepower. Uh, it's going to be a drop in just like the other ones. It's going to come with a new heat shield, fresh new hardware, everything you need to just bolt right in. This is an awesome unit for those guys with built engines and really trying to get the most out of their 10th generation Honda Civic. So here we have all three lined up again. W1 journal bearing, W2 journal bearing, and the W2 ball bearing. So we've got three options to pick from. How do you know which is the right one for you? If you are simply looking to upgrade from the OEM turbocharger, simple drop in, want to get more power, retain, the function and drivability of a stock-like car, the W1 is going to be the sweet spot. Um, this will get you well north of 300 wool horsepower, uh, especially when you're running ethanol, and it's going to keep the factory heat shields, electronic waste kit actuator, everything. This is our most popular turbocharger. 
The W2 journal bearing is gonna be for those a step up over the W1. You're looking to get well into that 340, 350, 360 range. Um, you're willing to sacrifice a little bit of the bottom end to make it up on the top end. Uh, it's gonna spool a little bit slower compared to the W1, but you're gonna make up for it on the top end. Much more horsepower, uh, more torque. Just overall a larger and more free-flowing unit. And then the W2 ball bearing is gonna be for those guys that wanna leave it all out on the table. Uh, again, a much more durable and stronger unit with that ball bearing cartridge. It's gonna spool a little bit faster and it can handle more boost and will take you well into 400 wheel horsepower, assuming you've got the engine and the fuel upgrades that go with it. No matter which one you choose, you are going to get brand new hardware and gaskets from us. The W2s are gonna come with specific fit heat shields, which look awesome and have a sweet laser engraved W on it, so look out for that. Uh, regardless, you can't go wrong with either one of these. They're gonna come with a warranty. So it really just depends on your power goals and what you are looking to achieve. So I'm Vincent. I certainly hope that you guys found this video useful and I hope it's a little bit easier for you to pick the next turbocharger upgrade for your Honda Civic. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you guys next time. Last but not least, the biggest and baddest turbocharger for the Honda Civic, the W. Vincent, you can't say that. Oh, shit. They don't know about that one yet. <laughs>